Hey guys, Jesse McCarthy here with Cowboys of the Cross, and this is The Short Go. So I want to start out by asking you a question. In your walk with God, in your, your beliefs, are you like cattle? And you're probably wondering, what do cows have to do with the Christian life? Well, the other day we were moving some yearlings, and we are going down this path, and they kind of wanted to keep veering off of it. But... The guy would ride up here and put a little pressure and they would go this way. And then another guy, and they were just kind of constantly back and forth instead of just walking straight by any little push or pressure from a different guy. And it got me thinking about this passage in Ephesians chapter 4. Um, and so I just want to read to you Ephesians 4. I'll start in verse 10 and read through 14. It says, He who descended is the one who also ascended far above all the heavens, that he might fill all things. That's Jesus that we're talking about here. And he, Jesus, gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds and teachers to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, so that we may no longer be children tossed to and fro by the waves and carried about every wind of doctrine by human cunning, by craftiness in deceitful schemes. So we are to not be pushed to and fro, uh, tossed around by the waves. And that's kind of what the cattle reminded me of, or, or pushed here and there by the wind of every doctrine. So by human cunning, by by false prophets, false teachers who who try to push you into a gospel for that isn't true or for their own gain. And so you might ask, be asking the question, well, how do I know if they're using scripture to back up their stuff? How do I know if it's false? Well, one of the biggest questions we need to ask ourselves first is who does it glorify? Does it glorify you? Does it glorify them? Does it glorify man or does it glorify God? If it glorifies anything or anybody other than God, run away. It is false. Secondly, look at the passages that are used and look at the context that it's in. I mean, we think about it. Um, the devil, he used some verses. He used passages out of Deuteronomy when he tempted Jesus, but he took them out of the context that they were meant for. And so he misrepresented what those verses actually were. And so we need to look at where these passages are used and in, in, in the whole context that they are, and not just take three words or one verse out of the middle of a sentence and completely distort it. And, and when we are at church or in a Bible study or listening to sermons or we read something, we need to take notes. We need to look at the passages that are used we need to look at the supporting passages and see and, and go back. Go and read them. Read them and look at the full context. Study the word. Don't just be somebody who hears and and, and just agrees and says, well, that's that's scripture. I remember that's in the Bible. But but God gave us all brains and we need to be students to study these things and to to grow. It says that, that to not, so that we may no longer be children. So we need to be pushing forward to the knowledge of the Son of God so that we know Him, we know about the truth that's in His Word, and that we won't just be thrown around by every little thing we hear from somebody that may sound really good, but it may be very false and lead us very far away from God. And so look at who it's glorifying, man or God. Look at the context that it's used in. And is there other scripture that supports it? If not, and it seems very contradictory to the rest of scripture, I would say that they're using it wrongly. So is it glorify God? Is other scripture back it up? And what is the context of it? Um, and study it. Be a student. Don't just be a hearer, but engage yourself in the teachings that you're hearing and 
look at it for yourself. Don't just have somebody else doing all the work, but take those notes and compare those things together. And that will really help you not to be just tossed around in the waves and, and be de um, deceived by false teachers, false prophets, those who, who want to preach for something other than the glory of God and for your good to, to draw you closer to God and understanding for him. So guys, I really hope that, that these are things that you'll do. You'll really look into this and I hope this is encouraging, help that helps you to, to study your Bible better to walk straighter not just be pushed around like those cows but to to know god know his word know the truth instead of being deceived by the devil and those who are doing his work so thank you guys i hope this is an encouragement happy trails